In this video, I'll be reviewing the PE2100 coffee maker from Petrus. So this is a nice mini drip coffee machine and it's a nice olive green color. So you'll see more of that later. Our unboxing experience has, as you can see right here, the English manual. It has all of these parts, care tips, and you know, the instructions on how to use it. So please definitely read that. Be sure to also stay until the end of the video. We will have the build quality test. I will share with you the different features of this product as well as some care tips you need to know before getting started. I will show you the step-by-step -step on how to prepare your coffee, whether that's two cups or up to six cups. I'll also show you two different coffee drinks. And lastly, I'll show you and I'll give you my final rating on this product. So this will determine if it's worth your money. We start off with the build quality test. This is the glass jug, as you can see, made of glass. This part is made of plastic with indication as to how many cups inside the carafe. So the carafe or the, you know, the vessel where your coffee will drip down. Very important. Here is our plug. So this is a Chinese plug. Again, you need an adapter to use this. As you can see, my hand is very big and the machine is almost as big as the hand. We take a look at this one right here. This is the warming plate. So this will turn warm when we turn it on. We have right here the tip. So this tip needs to be pressed in order for the coffee to be dispensed out. So be sure to use the proper carafe or the coffee vessel using the device so that you make sure that the coffee actually comes out of the machine. We can see here it comes with a small measuring scoop for your coffee. It comes with a filter basket. This is reusable. We also have right here our funnel with the tip in order to dispense the coffee. All of these are made of plastic. As you can hear. Overall, in terms of the build quality, many of the items here are made of plastic but they are all well built as you can see right here. Nice and thick plastic and I hope that it doesn't break. So I will give you an update maybe if you're interested in an update on this device. We have right here the power switch. We also have right here the water gauge. Two cups, four cups, and six cups. Under, Petrus has passed the quality check so that's a huge thumbs up. Overall, the unboxing experience and build quality 10 out of 10. We move on to their Lazada Mall page. So you are sure that it's 100% original, authentic, with 30 days of return. We can see that the price is 999 pesos. How cheap for a product like this? I wouldn't say cheap since it's actually built very well, so it's affordable. We can see that the filter basket is reusable and I'll show you that later once we use it for the first time. We can see right here that there are many different competitors and this one seems to be the most affordable. So that's a huge thumbs up in terms of price. We can see right here that you can also make tea and other applications that need hot water. The warming plate works as advertised. And again, if you're interested in the size, pause the screen. The wattage here is 550 watts and it has a 5-star rating. Take a look at the other products that Petrus offers. We move on to the actual creation of our coffee. First, start with this black funnel. Once we have that inserted, we have right here our filter basket. Just make sure that you follow this specific orientation shown in the video. We have here filter paper. This is not needed, but since I would like to keep the whiteness of the filter basket, feel free to use something like this. That's not a problem. We have right here ground Barako coffee. If you haven't seen that Barako coffee video, check this out, top right of your screen. So this one, to a ground size of 6. So it's a little bit coarse since we are making drip coffee. That's going to be 2 teaspoons of coarse ground Barako coffee. Very, very good. When I put 2 teaspoons of Barako coffee, that will produce 2 cups up to 3 cups of coffee. But as you will see in this video right here, once we fill our water tank to up to 6 cups of water, you will find out that the coffee that will come out is almost like tea. So it's a very mellow 
coffee. It's a very relaxing type of coffee. Not super strong. So it depends on how you like your coffee. My personal recommendation would be two teaspoons for one cup of coffee if you're interested in having a nice, strong, punchy flavor. If you're interested in a very mellow and a very easy-to-drink coffee experience that's not super bitter, this one right here, six cups of coffee, and you only have two teaspoons. So very, very good in terms of the coffee quality. Be sure also that the coffee beans are of you know the highest quality. That was a time lapse of the video, as we can see right there. The coffee machine was able to produce coffee, and we are now opening. Beware, this is hot. Our water shower, as you can see, bang on the spot, was able to extract all of the coffee flavor from those ground coffee beans. Very, very good, as you can see. And the filter basket is white still. That's uh, I think that's very important if you want to prolong the life of the device. Now we move on to our coffee. We have right here some milk with ice. We will make you know a very milk forward iced latte with so much milk and so little coffee. So it depends on how you would like your iced latte. If you'd like it, you know, to be this diluted. But that's definitely a possibility if you are interested in this type of drink. And just be aware that the Petrus machine is still turned on since you know the warming plate will keep the coffee warm for an extended amount of time even though there is no water inside of the water tank. So that's not a problem. Just be sure to turn off the device and try your best not to spill anything on the warming plate. We have right here a nice glass mug. We are filling it up with our coffee. This coffee tastes nice and earthy with a slight hint of fruity notes. So that's because of the Barako quality. So I think that ends it for the video. I rate this product overall a 9 out of 10. That rating may increase or decrease depending on how this product lasts for a very long time, I hope. So if you're interested in some updates, the link for this product is in the description down below if you're interested. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more review videos. Thank you.